Hello, I'm in the Flanders region of Belgium and this is Ypres. During the Great War of 1914 to 1918, Ypres was the centre of intense and sustained battles between German and Allied forces and it was all but obliterated by the artillery fire. During the war, because the British troops had trouble pronouncing its name, they nicknamed the city Wipers. Of the battles, the largest, best known and most costly in human suffering was the Third Battle of Ypres from July to November 1917, also known as the Battle of Passchendaele. After months of fighting, this battle resulted in nearly half a million casualties on all sides. After the war, the town was rebuilt using money paid by Germany in reparations, with the main square, including the cloth hall and town hall, being rebuilt as close to the original designs as possible. The Cloth Hall today is home to the Flanders Fields Museum, dedicated to Ypres' role in the First World War. Within Ypres, there's an Anglican church, St George's, within the Church of England's diocese in Europe. St George's is a pilgrimage church for the many thousands of people who visit the World War I sites of Ypres. There's a small resident congregation who live in Ypres and surrounding areas of Belgium and northern France. The Menin Gate Memorial to the Missing is one of four British and Commonwealth memorials to the missing in the battlefield area of the Ypres Salion in Belgian Flanders. The memorial bears the name of 54,389 officers and men from the United Kingdom and Commonwealth forces, except New Zealand and Newfoundland, who fell in the Ypres Salion before the 16th of August 1917 and have no known grave. The last post is sounded at the Menin Gate every evening at 8. This ceremony is for the war dead of India. Tynecott Cemetery is located nine kilometres northeast of Ypres town centre. Tynecott, or Tyne Cottage, was the name given by the Northumberland Fusiliers to a barn which stood near the level crossing on the Passchendaele Road. The barn, which had become the centre of five or six German blockhouses or pillboxes, was captured by the 3rd Australian Division on the 4th of October 1917 in advance of Passchendaele. It's now the largest Commonwealth War Cemetery in the world in terms of burials. There are now 11,961 Commonwealth servicemen of the First World War buried or commemorated in Tyne Cot Cemetery. 
8,373 of the burials are unidentified, but there are special memorials to more than 80 casualties known or believed to be buried among them.